it's got a real sense of community, it's lively, it's got a great buzz about it. From my own point of view, I work right opposite a lovely pub, The Rake, which does speciality beers and ales, so I can enjoy a nice jar after a difficult day at the office. Or I've got a Vinopolis Wine Wharf just down the road from me as well. Have a nice glass of rosé on a sunny evening, so it's a good place to be. It's got loads of culture and variety. You've got loads of galleries and theatres and you can get to see some really great plays that are going to hit the West End soon before they become really big. If I need a bit of retail therapy or some rest and relaxation then I'll head down to Bankside Mix which is just behind Tate Modern and it's a collection of shops and bars and restaurants. You can just hang out with your friends and enjoy the space. Shopping on the South Bank for me is a really varied experience. You can go from things like books and old maps under Waterloo Bridge to individual shops like this one or within the Oxo Tower. Very varied, handmade, craft-made skills and one-off products through to small designer ranges, individual and bespoke pieces. The Oxo Tower for me there are lots of different experiences within the place. There are, there are things like small one-off wedding dress shops like Candy Anthony. Then you have designer jewellery stores. You have designer makers, weavers, printers, photographers. We make things here, we sell things here, and we want people to actually experience the craft and the skill of making and selling all within the building. Things start actually far cheaper, even though they're skilled, craft, one-off pieces, than people necessarily believe. There are lots of cheap things in here, handmade cushions, for example, and one-off prints at the far end that can start from 30 or 40 pounds, and that's a one-off piece. For me, in terms of film, the best place is the BFI. There's a great archive in there. It's been newly rebuilt. It's a fabulous place to be. We are in between Tower Bridge and London Bridge. Fantastic area to be in. I love the area. It's bright, it's breezy, it's like being in a community in the middle of London Bridge. You have the park, you have HMS Belfast. I enjoy working here. It's nice to walk down by the river every day. It's nice to be in an open space in central London. We have all different communities, cultures, you have arty people, you have corporate people, you name it, we have it here. I have a five-year-old, so I do all different types of activities. I come here for picnics, you have numerous attractions, you have London Dungeons, you have the London Bridge Experience, you have the Unicorn Children's Theatre, it's really nice. I think Waterloo as an area has a massive draw for huge numbers of people. Just down the road from us on the cut, you've got a large number of restaurants. You've got the two major theatres, you've got the Young Vic and the Old Vic, again, pulling the tourists into the area. But again, lots of local people obviously go to use the, the theatres as well. And the area's got something for everybody. Um, just takes a little bit of a walk of the beach and path and then you discover it. Massive range of restaurants around Waterloo Quarter. You can have seafood one night, excellent Mexican restaurants are around, some brilliant classy British cuisine as well around here. There are a lot of regular bars which do excellent pub food, excellent bar food as well. So the, the choice is huge, really. You've got one of the best art galleries in the world, five minutes walk from here. You've got the London Eye and Westminster and Big Ben again, another 10 minute walk down the road. But it is a little hidden gem away from the, the main sort of bustling crowds of central London, which I'm still discovering now. Uh -huh.